Up Radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Yes, sir. It's a happy Monday making Monday. Your favorite cousin and them checking in. Young Jock, Miss Shot, Nigga, and Shout to Shout. If you think you're smarter than Young Jock, well, you get a chance to actually contest me and prove that. With your, uh, you know, the chance to win a fifty dollars gas card, uh-huh. courtesy of Attorney Adana, Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. I'm so lit this morning. I'm sorry. What's happening, buddy? All right, so we got to get into it with the biggest thing happening: the NBA All Star Game. We definitely got to talk all about it and break it down as LeBron James has been honored. And we got that word on the street news coming up. So many things to talk about, but Chris Breezy was definitely showing out all weekend long. So we got to get into that and more. What's good, Shawty? Oh, it's absolutely crazy over here. You won't believe what a mom is trying to pay somebody to do for her son with Down syndrome. It's crazy, and it's coming up at the 25 on the crazy report. Can't wait to hear all about it. Matter of fact, stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. What's poppin'? 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 We are now live on your radio. That's right. It's a beautiful money-making Monday, and thank you for joining us first thing. Hey, Miss Shanika. Hello, hello. What are we talking about today? Definitely going to pretend like I care about the NBA All-Star Game that took place (laughs) last night. Uh, It seems that it was Giannis versus LeBron. Okay. Um, yeah, they definitely had the whole world captivated. When they call you the chosen one before you finish high school, the expectations are sky high. For 19 years, we've all been witnesses. No matter the challenge, no matter the noise, he was relentless. He's not just a four-time MVP or a 19-time All-Star or a gold medalist or NBA champion. He's a son. He's a father. He's a husband. He's a friend. And now he's the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. The king himself, my brother, LeBron James. And that was Dwayne Wade introducing LeBron James for breaking the scoring record at the halftime of the NBA All-Star Game. Now, LeBron exits the game with 13 points and a hand injury. Oh. Oh. Mm. Darn it. From the slam dunk contest. Yeah. Oh, he he was was trying to show out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hit his hand on the rim. When you're in your late 30s, you can't be doing all that, Brian. You got to get above the rim with a headline like that. (laughs) All right. That is the biggest thing happening today. And I'm Miss Shani. Thank you, Miss Shani. Make sure y'all stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. Good morning, and thank you for joining us as we take you around the streets in 90 seconds. Shanquilla Robinson supporters sent off more than a thousand pink letters to Mexican authorities demanding justice for her death. The people who really love her and genuinely know her and genuinely been around her, we know we're not letting up. The call for justice in the case of Shanquilla Robinson continues. Family, friends, and supporters putting their demands in writing, filling each pink envelope with a letter to Mexican authorities asking them to take action. So every time they see a pink envelope, they're going to know that we're trying to put pressure on them to execute the warrants to lock up these individuals. Wow, we definitely hope this gets through and makes a difference. 
Other news, Brittany Griner reportedly signs a one-year deal to return to Mercury. After being released from being detained in Russia, Brittany Griner is coming back to play in the WNBA this season. ESPN's reporting that Griner is returning to the Phoenix Mercury. The 32-year-old free agent is reportedly signing a one-year $165,100 contract with the team, going back to the organization that drafted her with the first overall pick. I'm going to need them to get that pay up, but that's good to hear. Good mm-hmm. to hear. Now, the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, held a meeting with his Chinese counterpart Saturday night in Germany. Pace was brisk as the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, headed off for private talks with his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi. It was the first top-level meeting between the two superpowers since the U.S. shot down what it says was a Chinese spy balloon. The talks lasted just over an hour. China sent a surveillance balloon over our territory, violating our sovereignty, violating uh, international law. And I told him quite simply that that was unacceptable and can never happen again. China maintains it was just a civilian balloon that blew off course. Man, go on, no, on, no, with all that enough China. And in other news, we have to talk about it today, seeing that it is President Day. Former President Jimmy Carter, who at 98 years old, is the longest lived American president who has entered himself into home hospice care in Plains, Georgia. So that is definitely big right there. Hey, you guys, make sure you stick around for more. Young Jock in the Streets morning. Take over. Shout out, shout out. Coming up with the crazy report. Yeah, Can't boy. Can't wait to see it, man. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets morning. Take over. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shout it, shout it. Run it down. Yeah, run it down. What we about to do on this Monday making Monday. That's what this mother tried to do. She, she tried to run down her son, some friends who had Down syndrome, putting out a post. I pay somebody to come and somebody play the game with my son because he has no friends. Take a listen. 24-year-old Christian Bowers has a room full of video games. How many games do you think you have? 1,000. But what he doesn't have is a friend to play them with. So last week, Donna wrote this Facebook post asking for a friend for Christian. Two days a month for two hours, I'll pay you to be my son's friend. The pay is $80 for two hours. At least the money would guarantee that they would be there. Well, a non-profit found out, and they flooded little Christian with friends. That's why he had friends for days. They also brought him a new game, a 65-inch TV, hooked uh, uh, LED lights up to it. He got a waiting list of friends, y'all. We caught up with little Christian. He was sitting at a bus stop by himself, and the bus wasn't coming. We said, how do you feel? And he said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. And the gifts keep on coming. That's out of what my name is with the crazy report. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I will not validate this I, crazy I, report. You know, I... I no, they, uh, you got a lot of gifts and they still, they bring everybody... Life is like a box of You don't know what he's going to get yeah. each day. Each day, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the day. That's the day. <laughs> Today is National Clean Out Your Bookcase Day. Hey. Uh, National Hootie Hoo Day. Hey. Who made that? Outcast. Today? Outcast. <laughs> Not Master P. Today is National Islanders Day. Uh, National Comfy Day. How you get comfy though? What, what, how did that happen? National Comfy Day? All right. It's na- uh, No Politics Day on President's Day. Talk okay. about that right now. All right, celebrity birthdays. It's Pisces season now, man. Hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday to Charles Barkley. All right, then. Trevor Noah. Okay. Sydney Portier. Wow. And the one, the only, Rihanna. Shut up. Yeah. Happy birthday, baby. Hey, man, y'all get y'all name on the birthday list. It's about that time. 1 866 Y U N G J O C. That number's 1 866 986 Got you coming up on the birthday song. All right, keep it locked. Y'all jock in the streets morning. Take over. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. I heard it's your birthday. You heard it right, baby. What's up, Saudi? What's up, Miss Shanika? What about birthday crew? It's your birthday. What about birthday crew? It's your birthday. Say what about birthday crew? It's your birthday. What about birthday crew? It's your birthday. Kia the dog. It's your birthday. Felicity Love. Hey, Tara here. Yeah, yeah. 
Yo, Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. Happy Money Making Monday. Speaking of money, man, show me where the money at. Hey, look here, man. NBA All-Star Slam Dunk Contest. Woo! I think it just got saved. It was revived by none other than Mac McClain, who won the Slam Dunk Contest, man. He happens to be the first G League player to compete. Here comes McClung. Oh! That's a hezzy. That's called a hezzy dunk. So you hezzy in the air. Yeah, yeah, that's a ooh. And that might be an ah, too. I, I think that's a 49 and a half. That's a, like one shade under 50. There's a place in Vegas called Circus Olé. Uh-huh. He could, he could join today. Uh-huh. <laughs> he was last year's G League Rookie of the Year. Nah, man, it's McClung. Mac McClung. What's your name? I'm McClung. Mac McClung. Boy, it went crazy. That 720, uh-huh. I'm going to keep it a buck. All right. You know, if you ain't never slam dunk before, yes. some of the dunks do be looking amazing. But after you've know, seen so many people do their own variations and put their spins on it, uh-huh. it all becomes kind of just like standard, right? Yeah. Here comes Matt McClung, this G League player, man, who's only making about $107,000 a year. Wow. Comes in mm-hmm. and does a 720. A 360 are already hard enough. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah, hard to go a complete circle. To do a complete circle and dunk. But he circled twice. Wow. I saw it. it was you amazing. saw it. It was amazing. Yeah, man. My boy did good. Miss Shanika said she's trying to figure out what all the hype about. Cause I don't know. Yeah. She, <laughs> she thought a dunk was a booty. <laughs> she ain't that far behind. So I don't, <laughs> don't put her back that many years. First of all, I do like basketball, but I just was not interested in the none of the games this year. Well, because there's been a like, it's been a decline in the slam dunk contest, man. A lot. We've never seen a slam dunk contest in the NBA uh, All Star games where a cat has to make his attempt to dunk five times. I used to love the three point contest, actually. Yeah, I mean, Clay and my boys, they used to get down. No. Oh, you're not even dropping today? <laughs> yeah, because okay. I love sports. Anywho, uh, you ready for me? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, coming up inside the Word on the Street series, <laughs> Take the mic. Yeah, we saying? definitely got to get into it. Blueface, Chris Brown, they were going at it. Actually, Chris Brown was showing out all weekend long, and I'm going to tell you why he started going in, because somebody didn't set this man off. And don't set off Chris Brown. All that and more coming up inside the Word on the Street news in less than 10 minutes. Turn off the lights. The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen. Word on the street. She be bopping. I need more. Word on the street. Screaming bright like on a moped. Word on the streets. I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets. Going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. Boy, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I see these stores. They've been juicy this weekend. What up, Miss mm-hmm. Shanika? Yes, they have. Yeah. All thanks to the one and only Chris Brown. Thank you so much, Chris. Chris um, decided to have a little back and forth with uh, Keely Williams, uh, formerly of 3LW. They don't fool with her no more. And... She basically said that Chris Brown was a womanizer and people tend to forget that, blah, blah, blah. Chris had a comeback to her. He said, stop <laughs> saying those things about him when basically you can't even speak correctly. All right. So mm. that was the beginning of that story. Dirty, man. Then Chris <laughs> was it. just showing his feelings that he posted all these white actors and and singers and stuff that have been in domestic abuse situations with their women right Mm -hmm. and then the name that he added in was Blueface with Krishan and then that amped it Blueface to do a whole video responding to Chris Brown about adding him in the group chat about abusive relationships I get it you know Hit me funny. I hit her back. It's blue face, so I totally get it. That that'd be the most irritating thing ever. You gotta play the cards that you was dealt. You on some, but they did it too. Why aren't you guys telling them anything? Type shit. And it's like, bro. Only thing I disagree with is you posting all these random white people and and me and and trying to like distract from your thing. If you beat the bitch up, you beat the bitch up. I get it. You on some R and B. You don't want to be seen as R and B. 
Man. Are in beats. The fact. Wow. That that man Blueface said, man, I mean, let's just face it. You beat up the wrong B word. <laughs> <laughs> and him and Krishan thought that that was the funniest thing ever. Like, yeah, my man beat up somebody like me, but you decided to beat up somebody like Rihanna. Mm, oh, my God. Work. All of it is absolutely terrible, okay? Uh, still uh, hope that these uh, two both wake up before it's too late. Um, moving right along. Um, I guess Blueface mom jumped into it, but to conclude the whole thing, Blueface came back and said, you know, he used to look up to Chris Brown when he was a kid, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's move on to Woody. Okay. Why no. sell Woody? It has been alleged that he has been an informant for 11 years. Mm. And, you know, he's been working with the state to bring evidence about drug-related street games. And one person that he was trying to set up was Wyeth and Lucci. Mm. Yeah. Um, the audio that we have is just quite... Uh, it's not really legible. You can't really hear it. But if you guys want to go to our IG, go to Streets Morning Takeover to check out the audio... I mean, this man has said that he is not cooperated at all, that he got out of jail on his own yeah. cognizance. Uh -huh. yeah. And now it's just not really looking that way, especially since someone released these videos. I, isn't that illegal? They playing a deadly game. Yes, they, they are. They, they plan, whoever released this, and if it was the state, this is not good. That's how they do. What do you mean? That's what they do. After so long, they put it out. It, this stuff you talk about 11 years this man's a confidential informant in a case where it's it, up it, it right now it ain't confidential no more this, the evidence is out the facts are out once this stuff comes out then they can release it oh that's what the paperwork means even though the trial is not over uh -huh. but they letting it be known man they want they man this is a this is a whole nother way for the rest of these cats to go ahead and, and buy, you know what and, and, your friend said this about yeah. you this is someone that's been with you for 11 so years so quit playing that's, oh, wow. that's how they that's how they do it. Wow. This ain't uh, this ain't good at all, people. This ain't Not BMF good. the movie. This the real This is like BMF in real life. The wood all and right. still. Well, that is the word on the streets news for right now. We have so much more to talk about a little bit later, especially with Chris Brown just setting a record straight. Chris has really been mad ever since he got snubbed for the Grammys. I mean, because it's something that took place in his personal life. But it's affected his professional career. Yeah. And people go through this type of thing all the time. We want to know from you guys. We're going to talk about it coming up, man. Make sure you stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Take. You know. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's the top of the hour. Yeah, yeah. Man, goodness gracious, boy. It's a happy Monday making Monday. Miss Shanika, man, we were talking about the case. Uh, with Chris Brown going off this weekend, he's very upset, man. You know, you can pr pretty much understand. Uh, he brought Blueface into the convo, which sparked other things. And he dropped a bunch of pictures of uh, actors, mm -hmm. white actors and actresses who've been uh, arrested or charged in domestic violence uh, cases and whatnot. And he was just saying, like, these people haven't been canceled. Why, why do you guys want to continuously counsel me? Had one run in with my girlfriend. How many years ago was this? It's been at least seven. He said it was seventeen, so maybe it was a uh, two thousand nine. That's this incident that's, happened. That's quite some time. Mm -hmm. That's your limitations, though. I mean, it's been since statue of limitations. I'm not doing this with you this morning. It man. should be a statute of limitations on you know street cred. Or well, it is on certain things. I mean, because at the end of the day, you will. I'm talking about the council coach. Did you say on street cred? Just on, any, <laughs> you know, some things going to stick with you. I don't care what you say. I mean, it just happens. People grow. Yeah, they do. But, you know, depending on what happened and how publicized it is or was, it will ride your back. I mean, I ain't going to lie. Like, okay, sometimes your personal life truly affects your professional life. You know what I'm saying? And uh -huh. I give an example. I made a very simple mistake. My license registered firearm uh -huh. was in my carry-on bag. It was not even supposed to be in there. It had been left in there the night before uh -huh. from a party I went to. 
uh, an outcast Christmas party. Okay. So, well, not the night before, three nights before. Okay. Because I traveled. We drove out of town. Had an emergency, had to fly back in, and that was still in that bag. Ooh. And I never checked the bag until I got to the airport. Wow. And they was like, sir, is this something in this bag that could harm us? I was like, nah. <laughs> Man, when the federal agents pulled that 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 firearm out of that bag, I was like, oh no, this ain't good. I would have fainted. Oh no, no. I was like, I oh, no. Oh, I almost did. Is he dead? Is he dead? Because when it came out, I said, no, nah, yeah, this from the cost. This old is bad. And it got to the point where I'm, it, I mean, there were television appearances, got canceled. I remember I had a bar mitzvah for paying me a very good amount of money, man. And those people like, yeah, we don't really think it's a good idea that you come here. You just keep the little deposit, and uh, we'll find someone who's more credible for the job. Well, to this day, I am still embarrassed to tell people that I work with you. <laughs> Damn. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> we want to know from you, man. <laughs> Has your personal life or anything in your personal life ever affected your professional life call us up and explain to us how this works how'd you make it through it all one eight six six yung 1866 1866-986-4562 keep it where you got a young jock in the streets more entertainment here we go it's the trending topic if it's trending then you know we gotta talk about it get it on the trending topic right now with young jock in the streets morning takeover that's right that's right that's right we back at it man talking about Chris Brown and how his professional uh, well his personal life some personal effects have affected his professional life. And a lot of people have gone through this. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not as uh, you know, it's it's, it's not uh, as publicized because, you know, some people are just living a regular life. But like you said, Miss Shot uh some things have you've done in your personal life have affected your professional life. No. Nope. Yes. Mm. No, I've seen haven't. I've seen I've seen it happen. Okay. When? I, that's your business. I don't want to put no, your per, put your personal life out there. Yeah, go ahead. So this one time you was dating this. Hey, Bing, 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 bing. Uh, DJ Swin said he had a story. Oh, you yeah. got a story, Swin? What happened, DJ Swin? Mm. That was very ghetto. All right, so check it out. This is like uh, back in the day. All right, so I've been doing radio in different places, all right? Uh-huh. And uh, so my very first radio job, I'm still in college, or I'm trying to get the job, all right? Uh-huh. So you do what you do, you know what I mean? You move around, you go and meet people, shake hands, kiss babies, and all kind of stuff like that there, all right? So I mm-hmm. meet this radio guy who's in the business. He's at the station that I'm trying to get on at, all right? At a concert. And cool, so uh, I get his contact number, all right? Mm-hmm. Boom. So we talking radio. Uh, a couple uh, a couple of weeks or two go by, and it's a concert coming up. Mm-hmm. So he texts me. He's like, boom, man, I got tickets for this for this concert. Okay. Do you want to go? I'm like, man, y- yeah, you know? So cool. Uh, I meet him at his crib, pick up the tickets, and then it's like, so yeah, uh, <laughs> fellatio this, oh, and then we do that, and can we do this, up. and then we we'll do that. All right, cool. So like a month or so go by, mm-hmm. and uh, next thing you know, I walk into the radio station to get a job, and he is on air, eyes big as yours right now, Shawty, looking at me like, <laughs> I know this man ain't just walking here. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Did you take his job? Eventually, you took the job. <laughs> good thing you ain't take nothing else. Good, good job, it wasn't another job. Oh, my uh, God. Ooh. Can, <laughs> stop, can I head out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to head it out. I was not ready wow. for that. We got to ask our listeners, though. We got listeners right now. Uh, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Has anything in your personal life ever affected your professional life? I was dating this boy. Uh huh. He, you know, cut it off for me. And so I didn't know that we worked together and come out to find out a couple of weeks later after we broke up or whatever, he tried to get me fired. Wow. <laughs> what, what did he say? He just basically went around spreading rumors about me at the workplace to my boss saying I was unfit for the job. And I was just like, wow. Oh, y'all was smashing. He went and told on Pretty much. But that was not nobody else's business. Well, well, you learned a valuable lesson. Don't smash where you work at, huh? She ain't know. She said she, <sighs> she said she smashed him and then walked into work and he was standing there. Yeah. And you, and you chick I smashed last night. <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible hey, feeling, boy. It is. 
Yeah, man, I would tell y'all this one story, man. No, but then, yeah, if I fail the drug test, does that personal and work mix together? I don't. Yeah, yeah I got five. <laughs> 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 it definitely. Is. Hey, man, it's time for the date dilemma. Look, y'all, it's gonna be a good day. I promise you, man. Call us up one eight six six Y U N G J O C. If we can get rid of your dilemma, you walk away a hundred dollars richer. Yes, sir, bam. All right. Again, that number is one eight six six nine eight six four five six two. Can't wait to hear from you. Young Jack in the streets, morning takeover. You are now listening to The Date Dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Date Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Hey, Jock. This is uh, Tyler. All right. How can we help you this morning? Uh, I'm trying to get my man back. He's the love of my life, Lamont. Lamont is the love of your life. Okay, well, why, how you don't, why don't you have your man no more? How, you, you talking about you got to get him back. Where do he go? We kind of have some differences, and we ended our relationship and now he has a new girlfriend but you know I really can't take it anymore like I just want him back in our lives like we have two kids together we've been high school sweethearts and you know we had a small falling out and that left our relationship torn and I can't really see him with anybody else I don't like seeing him with anybody else so, so y'all are no longer a relationship he's moved on and yeah. You don't want to see him in the new relationship. No. Wait, hold on. That is called being a hater, now. No, it's not a hater because I treat him better than she does. But if you did, then y'all would still be together. It was a small falling out. Lamont likes to do his thing, and he just have to understand that he's never going to find anybody better than me. All right, this is what we're going to do. Tylen, we're going to place you on hold. We're going to attempt to get uh, him on the phone. Don't say nah, nah, nothing till we tell you it's a go, okay? Okay. Respectfully. Hold on. This bitch man, I don't want to even call nobody, man, I moved on. What you mean? I, I want to leave the room. Uh, who is this, hello? Good morning. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Who is, who is this? Hey, good morning. Um, May I speak with Lamont, please? This is Lamont. How you doing? How you doing, fam? Sam. Okay, look, I know you're trying to figure out who's on the phone. I'm going to just tell you. <laughs> Young Jock on the phone. Miss Shot, Nika, Shot, Shot, man. You got a few uh, minutes to talk? I'm like, who calling? I'm, what's going on? Miss Shot, Nika, you want to tell them what's going on? All right. So, <laughs> basically, Lamont, Tylen reached out to us. And Tylen is, is trying to see why you aren't really uh, giving her any action back. Well, I don't know if time to let y'all know and made y'all aware that, you know, we've been together. We were together for a long time. I mean, mm -hmm. she's, you know, she's a good girl. She's, you know, she's cool. She, you know, but she was my high school sweetheart, you know, and uh, we do have two children together. Man, it's been over probably about 13, 14 years. The relationship kind of became a little monotonous and mundane and just, uh, just kind of regular, you know. I just need a little bit of not excitement. regular. I never had, you know. I had never got a chance to really sow my royal oats, as they say, and test the waters anywhere else. And you know, I just felt like we just kind of needed a break. So you know, y'all going y'all separate ways, and now you know she's calling us about you. What would you say to her right now? I just tell her, you know, I'm I'm no less than a father. You know, I'm still in my children's lives. And hold on. You halfway in, my boy. I'm going to let you finish the other half with her because she's actually on the phone. Um, I'm, I'm going to let you finish the rest with her. Good morning, Talib. Are you okay? Mama, you know, I can't, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't keep anything down. Mm. And you know I need you here. I just want you here. I can't live without you, and you know this. Uh, listen, you really need to get some help at this point. This is I'm doing what's best for you anyway. You know, you need to experience the world. You need to experience other guys. You need to feel somebody else's love right and now, attention. You know what? If you don't come back, if you can't come back into our lives, then I have something for you and your woman, okay? Huh? <laughs> what is that? Don't, don't talk like I that. will be don't, pulling don't, up don't to your threats. house. I'm not playing with you a lot. You know this is not right. Listen, I moved on. We were we were in love in high school. You know, it's just a phrase. No, you just can't say that. You know, you still love me, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Thailand, but you know what? Listen, 
Um, like whatever you do, just let's let's not make any threats. This ain't no threat. It's a promise. Wow. So you feel like you're at the point where you would you would risk it all because of this man who has moved on? He know I'm the only one he really loves. He don't love her. He don't. Listen, really think about our her. children. Why you acting crazy? All right, you need to be an example Stop for our children. Stop calling me crazy. I'm not acting crazy. Lamont, I need you to get your together right now. You, your girl, and me will be seeing God by tonight. Mm -hmm. If you don't see your stuff, see yourself, God. Kids, you're not going to kids are going to be what straight. What are you talking about? My family is going to make sure the kids are this straight. This is why I left you. This is why I left no. you. You're not mentally no. stable. You you're not even you're not ready. You mentally you're not in the right space, sweetheart. Talin, wait, 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 wait a minute. What are you saying? I'm telling you I'm not in the what do you mean y'all gonna see right God? Place. What are you what are, what are you saying, uh, young lady? What are you saying? Please help me understand. What are you saying y'all gonna it's see gonna God? It's gonna be a homicide and it's gonna be a suicide. Oh my god. No, 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 we can't do this. Hey, look, baby girl. Uh, we're going to have to cut this short because we can't condone yeah, that. Yeah, we cannot we at can't, all. We can't have you talking like that live on air. You just, you got to get, you got to, wait a minute, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Lamont, you I'm, need to go I'm get some kind of protection. Yeah, no, I'm coming Lamont, to get a you check. you need to come see me. You're not stable, and I, I, I don't know what you might do. Matter of fact, I'm coming there right now. I'm about to leave the house, dropping the kids off to my mom, <laughs> and we're going to have this conversation in person in a minute. I'll see you in an hour. No, no, I know her mother's number. I'm going to call her mother, I'm going to call her sister, and I'm going to call the police and make them aware of these threats because this, this is not to be taken lightly. No, I definitely agree. On behalf of 1-800-Engine-The-Bethune Law Firm, you know, y'all will not be getting this $100, but I will say this, man. Y'all, please be um, be smart in your actions, man. Um, sweetheart, please don't go over there. And for you, bro, as you said, do not take this lightly, okay? Call us up. Let's talk about it. one 866 joc Y'all, let's get this girl some help and pray for her, all right? That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, I guess girls get crazy too. Young Jack in the streets morning take over. What it do? What it do? Hey. All right, this day dilemma, man. <laughs> wow. First and foremost, I just want to say we do not condone violence. Mm -mm. We don't even condone the pr the pretending of violence being acted out. Threats. That ain't cool at all. All right. Threaten me every morning. I'm talking about that's us at work though. You gotta oh, change your okay. hairstyle. We got a safe place to to you know you know you might threaten me to, to say something on air. That's not gonna put me in physical harm. You're not trying to cause bodily harm. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny. Okay, stop, stop. HR. <clears throat> Date dilemma. Ty is calling because she wants her high school sweetheart, baby dad Lamont back. Now Lamont says. The girl just, he got a new girlfriend and she treat him better. He said the, the, their relationship is mediocre and mundane. And I know mm. if you're wow. in a relationship with anyone, ladies and gentlemen, and they tell you that you come to the point where your relationship is mundane, to even go and just fetch that type of word, I, 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 it's I, I been over with. Huh? What, does, what does that mean? It's just lackluster. It's mundane. It's, it's mediocre. Dead. Dead. It, it, it's it, it it's not giving nothing. anything. Right. It's stagnant. Oh. I'll give you 38 words for it. That would take the breath out of me. It's a lazy. <laughs> it's a domicile. <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> the sorry's face there. Hey, man, what's your thoughts on this date dilemma? I feel just like her, and I go right to your house because you're not just going to leave me and my kids, and you is all we know. And, and he's telling her to go experience more men. She don't want nobody else but him. And he know that. So what, what you saying? What you going to go over there for? So what you saying? I be so I be so with a brick. Cause how you gonna go on about your life that we've been together since high school? That's all that girl knows. Well, well, I, I mean, too, and I wish I knew where she was at so I could go with her. <laughs> and and no, said, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank you for your call. No, thank you. Uh, uh. Thank you. No, thank you. Swiper, no swiping. I'm gonna go. What you gonna go over there for? Confrontation. Young Jack in the streets, more than take over. Talk about this day dilemma. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, we're going to talk about this right here. You know, that's very sad. The, the young girl, she heartbroken. I get it. Then she had these kids by this guy. And she should you know, be with put, trying father. to pull up on him at the house and do all this craziness. Mm -hmm. You sound like you've been through this before. I've been heartbroken. I've been broken. I do agree with that. But I ain't never want to kill myself over no oh. kill Because he got Thank a you call. Period. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
She said what she said. Wow. You know, after saying that, after thinking about it, mm-hmm. that's a lot to take on. It is. I mean, we've all been heartbroken to the point where, oh, I just can't, my heart can't take it. You just feel like you're breaking into a million pieces. But, but to actually want to harm yourself because of someone else's. But uh, you but you are talking about someone since you were a child. A child. You're high school. You're a child. People, you don't, you don't, you don't look at it like, I mean, high school, so yeah. no, you're a child. Mm-hmm. And now you've based your whole life life around this relationship with this mm-hmm. person since you've been a child. Mm-hmm. You don't know anything or anyone else and y'all y'all bear kids. Y'all conceive children together, right? Mm-hmm. And suddenly they want to leave you behind. She ain't never experienced heartbreak. She's never experienced a, a relapse of having to go back. You know, she's, this is all she knows. So I could oh, see... Oh, this ain't the first time they've been to this rodeo. He I didn't drug know. up before this, before we got to this point I, I don't of know mundaneness. Do, do. <laughs> Unfortunately, things happen like that. You know, that's why... You know, you gotta brace yourself while you sit around just doing nothing. Go to school, ladies. If you're in a relationship and you think he might get the hell on on you in the future, go and set yourself up now for success. No, you should always set yourself. Oh, there's some women laying at home right now with their flip flops and bundles on, waiting on the kids to come home. Okay, that's not all they do. I'm sure they prepare their home for their children to get home. We're not going to play stay-at-home moms. We're not doing that. Girl, please. We're not doing hey, that. I, yeah. Are you serious? We're yeah. not going to play them like that because that is important. There are a lot of women that work so much that they don't even have time for their children. And there are a lot so, of women who so are So we at are home. still oh, going to commend women that are at home that are taking care of their kids, that, that have time to check their homework, to make time to make sure that they have a nutritional dinner to eat. So let's not do that. That's how you feel. Yes. Yeah, and somebody got straight C's and her, her mama sleep to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, there there are those parents too, but we're not going to play just stay hey, at home. Hey, man, mind. are you smarter than young jock is on the way? one 866 y 2 We got you. You want me to, want me to slow it down for you? one 986 4562 Call us up right now if you think you're smarter, man. Brought to you by Attorney Adonna. We got a fifty dollars gas card on the line. Can't wait to put it in somebody's hand. Keep it like Young Jack in the streets. Morning, take over. Hey man, we got to get into it, man. We back at it. Your favorite cousin checking in. Young Jock, Miss Shot, nigga, shout out, shout out with Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take over in the building. Not only uh, one of my personal friends, my realtor, my only realtor, yeah. and soon-to-be world-renowned author, Mr. Doug Parson. Doug the Plug in the building! What's going on? Hey. What's going on? What's, what's, going on? what's up, man? I'm, listen, I'm sitting here. You brought us gifts this morning. Right. The new book, yep. The Art of Flipping Bricks. Right. I remember when you first told me. You said, man, I think I'm going to write a book. Right. I said, are you? You said, well, really, the book already done. I said, where is that? You said, it's in my head. <laughs> I said, okay, you, you know what you're going to do. So let's talk about it, man. We got to get into let's it. Talk everybody, about it. Everybody want to know what about flipping bricks. What does it mean, bricks. the art of flipping bricks? Because I'm trying to correlate that to oh, what you do. Okay, I'm going to break it down. Uh, first of all, I appreciate y'all having me. This is like the Grammys for me, so I'm winning the Grammy <laughs> okay. right now. Uh, all right. You feel me? So the art of flipping bricks is simply the art of flipping houses. Now, the way we put the word play on it is because I used to be a street guy. Some years ago, I've been out the street since 96, but I used to flip other bricks. So now I'm flipping house bricks. So we came up with it, the art of flipping bricks. Let's go. Yeah. The Actually, the book, Break It All Down in layman's term, I broke it down like where elementary children could understand it. A lot of our people are not avid readers. Uh, so, you know, I made it real simple to the point. And uh, also for the non-avid readers, I also got the audio book. <laughs> dropping today you can go pick that up so if you're just tuning in and you don't understand what it is okay this brother when i tell you all right you sold me my last three properties yes me and kendra absolutely it was never been a time that i didn't feel secure right um in, in, in your process and you know we always talk about trusting the process right so how did you get into the whole concept of real estate probably in about 98 i had lived in kentucky for a short period of time I had a little extra fun, so I decided to buy some homes and uh, fix them up and sell them. Mm -hmm. So I buy a house in Atlanta. The lady that sold me my house, she looked like me. 
and she was very successful. We went to her house. Mm. She had a mansion. She had Mercedes Benz, uh, racing motorcycles. She had the pool with all that stuff. And mm. I never seen that from our type of people. And she was like, uh, from where I'm from. And so she was like, hey, if you ever want to get in the business, just go ahead and give me a call. Wow. And as soon as you get your license, I'll put you in the game. And that's exactly what she did from day one. So. And it's been up ever since. It's been up ever since. Tell them how they can pick up the book and the audio book. Okay, so if you want to flip through the pages, you can get the book at Walmart. That, let me speak on Ooh, that. Hey, yeah. Whoa, 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 Hey. You just got to order it offline. Yeah. You, just, you just go to Walmart. You go to Walmart. Like, I respect Amazon. I love Amazon. People put their books on Amazon. But uh, shout out to Clarence McNair. That's my guy. He put me in the game. But definitely go to Walmart.com. Pick up the book. You can also go to Barnes & Noble. You can also go to Amazon. Uh, books a million. Now, I really want to talk about this uh, audio book. Now, you can go get that on Apple iTunes. You can get that on Amazon Music. And you can get it on Audible. That's what I want y'all to pick up. It's really like a whole real estate album. Music on it. I'm talking about good music, and you hear some of the biggest people in the game speaking on it. Go pick that up. It's available today. You got some other people on the audio portion, too, though. Oh, I got... Pardon me, sir. Uh, so I got Kendra <laughs> Robinson, my okay. preferred attorney. Yeah. Uh, hey, if hey, you hey, did a hey, couple hey. of million dollar deals, you probably know Virgil. Uh, he's a lender. Shout out to Virgil. Shout out to Virgil. Uh, shout out to my credit lady, uh, Tia. That's Go Grizzly. He's a big producer. That's What's actually up? his wife. She does all my credit. Got my hard money guys in there. Got my wife in there, uh, Dr. Parsons. So we loaded. You know, y'all had me here today. I said they had me here today. I got to drop it today. So. Hey, man. That is. Okay. Now, who is this on the forward? I see the, the forward. Okay, yeah. so Coach K actually forwarded the book, also wrote in the book. So let me uh, ask you a couple of things. Now, I know you have these big money clients. Yes. But for the average person that makes about $55,000 a year, right. right? Would you say that they have a good chance of actually getting a nice home in this market that we're in? I definitely know beyond a reasonable doubt they can get a good house in this market. It's just all about their agent, who's looking for these houses for them, who's finding a deal, who's in touch with, who's renovating these lower-end houses where somebody that's making something like that can get a nice house. Now, I also, like I say, I flip bricks, so I'm one of the guys, our slogan is, we give people with beer money champagne. Okay. You know, so the same houses that you're talking about for these people, they go in Alpharetta or wherever they go, and they see these quartz countertops and these paints and all these different things. Mm -hmm. Well, I do that, too. You know, I get deals on the stuff. I put it in the problem. So, like, I bless the people who really not so high up. Right. But I like to bless the people at the bottom, too. Oh, that's That's good. what God sent me to do. As Douglas Parson, when you heard him say he flips bricks, the art of flipping bricks is the new book. He's talking about real estate, bricks, property. He, I, I mean, because people could just be tuning in like, right. flip bricks? He just nah. said that on the radio? <laughs> right. Okay, so yeah. let's talk a little bit more about flipping bricks. Let's go. You have the 10 flipping bricks commandments. Can yes. you give us two? Of two? your best, because I want them to get the book so they can get all 10 and read the rest of the book. They definitely need to. Okay. One thing is, when you flipping, you got to flip with people who think like you. Uh, if you go into business with somebody, you got to really do your research, make sure they're good people. Another one could be when, you, when you're getting ready to purchase the property, mm -hmm. never go out and try to buy something before you're closing on the property. Okay. Like oh. that could put you in a bad position. Like yeah, I've so dealt many with people, people don't know that. Some people go get a new car right before they close. Mm -hmm. And then when they run that last credit report and they see it on there, now your numbers is off. So you hit the underwriter's crazy. Because what people have to understand is, and what most people don't realize is the underwriter's job is basically to protect the financier, right? The right. financial company, the person who's going to give you the loan. Right. And they're going to pick you apart and look for any reason not to approve you. I'm not saying that's their main thing, but that's what they stand on. They're going to look for the reason why you're not eligible for the loan that you're applying for. They exactly. protect the money. They protect, protect the money. They protect the paper. Don't talk too much when you're talking to these no. uh, uh, real estate uh, <laughs> lenders and loan officers and right. underwriters. Don't tell them you got to pay $27,000 child support a month. Yeah. Oh. Don't tell them that. Don't. Oh. I, I'm going to tell y'all. I made me like, y'all got to pay child support. It's, oh, how much is child support? For. Right, so, Mr. Hugh, you need to come up with another job. See what I'm saying? And then you know, if you're an independent business person, that means uh, you don't have a W two. 
You really need to have your paperwork in order because these are the hardest people to get financed in the real estate business. Right. Am I correct? You, you're correct. And, and a lot of people, like, you know, that had their own businesses and stuff, you know, typically, like, nobody like to pay the IRS. Like, you know, like, they just not throwing their money there. So, when you got your own business, a lot of people claim losses. For you. Well, I don't know if you should have said that. One. That was one they needed to see in the book for themselves. Hey, hey. you gave them a little too. You, you hey. saw stuff in the game hey. spot right there. And then you're going to have a tax bill on the other end of that because I'm, I'm yeah. paying one right now. So I applaud you for writing the books. Definitely. It's your audio book today. Yeah. And me and my family are going to sit down and listen to it. I appreciate that. Just give us an idea. Uh, what type of read is this? This is a short read. Is it a big book for people to This is up? a short book. How many pages is in my book? 99 pages, right? It's no fluff in this book. No fluff. I got right to it. I know I only got a few minutes. So, you, you know, your, your time span is short. Okay. So, I kept it short. I gave you everything you needed to know. I didn't put no fluff in it. We don't care to read that much. So, I had to give it to them quick. And then I really did it with the audio because they can just get in their car, listen to it. I got great music on there, too. How long is the audio? Maybe an hour and 20 minutes. So, something you can pop in, listen to over and over again, uh-huh. go right to the chapter that you need to get, get a refresher course and, on. And yes, and you can, get, you can hear the best of the best talking about what right. we're doing so you can hear your wife right. Kendra talking about the right. whole closing process you can hear me talking about how to get started from step one to step 10 you know it's just a, the audio book is crazy you can hear coach K on there too talking about my life and his life and where we come from so that's big too shout out to coach K right hey we just closed on a new uh property yeah myself and Kendra congratulations you. yeah yes, I appreciate yes. that you shout out to beautiful. Kendra he talked about the ledge listen I was I, I called him one morning I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all uh, listen keep it a hundred I said Doug I, ain't, I don't even think I wanna go this big Doug said let me tell you something mm-hmm. he said why you you yeah. I said what do that mean <laughs> he said why you chalk why you deserve this yeah. you and your wife yeah. alright Doug we gonna do this yeah and to get to that closing table, that was another victory for us. All right, man, y'all get that book, man. He got 99 pages and a brick I ain't won. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, I definitely want to take the time just to say thank you, Doug, man, because, you know, sometimes people don't know what it feels like to have a dream come true. I think this is definitely a good book that they need to invest in. And, I, I, and as a man, I want to say thank you for sharing your knowledge. I appreciate yeah. it. Because that is wealth, and you're sharing that with the world, man, so... Always a good thing when we hook up, man. I remember Definitely. the first day you were so happy you got the, the book done. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, his ass going to be rich, rich. <laughs> yeah. Because you definitely know what you're doing. I done seen you do it a million times over, man. All right. Hey, so, man. That's what's going on. One last thing I definitely want to say, What? why I do this. I feel like God put me in position to help the people who come from, like, a background that I come from. So it's like I did this for the hustlers that don't know what to do with their money, all the dope boys. I also did this for the dancers, you know what I'm saying, who they're doing very well. They're trying to figure out what to do with their money. This is for you. This is also for, like, those people who lost an auntie, lost their grandmother, lost an uncle, and they got a little money. They got forty or 50000 They don't. They have no clue what to do with it. Pick this book up. It takes you from 1 to 10, and, like, that's what I'm doing this for. I felt like I was put here to help the people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't doing it, but that's what I'm here. Only do it. And that yes, is. Will. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to give a round of applause for Doug the Plug, better known as Douglas Parson Jr. Yes, sir. Yeah. New book. Yeah. The Art of Flipping Bricks is out. Now you heard that man say, so you going to get it at Walmart. I mean, he, he said all the I think you can go get it at Walmart. Yeah. And go check out my lifestyle a little bit at I Am Real Estate 1. At I Am Real Estate One. Uh, I also have a YouTube show called Digs with Doug. I show all my luxury properties. Property management, we do that, me and my wife. Real Estate Blondie is also out here selling real estate. So I'll get with her on IG, Real Estate with Blondie. That's my angel. You know, she'll look out for you too. If not, call me. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. One. I ain't never seen her not smiling, though. They too cool. <laughs> too cool. <laughs> yeah. Too cool. I mean, it's cool. Match made the way it's supposed to be again. Right. Man, shouts out to you. Shouts out to the new book, The Art of Flipping Bricks, man. Yes. About to get up out of here. Make sure y'all keep it locked for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Only with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What's your name and who's on the line? This is Dominique from the Cato. What's up, Doc? Okay, okay, okay. Are you smarter than Young Jock? You already know. You might as well go on and give me the $50, man. Come on. Nah, I heard the way you said $50. You ain't going to beat me today. <laughs> I already know. I hope you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. What country did the U.S. gain our independence from? The 
The what? Three. The British Two. England. One. You're correct. <laughs> Young Jack. They won that. They won. Young Jack. I am an odd number. Take away a letter and I become even. What number am I? Seven. Dominic. Yes. What kind of building is filled with thousands of voices all day but remains totally silent? Oh, gosh. A building filled with thousands of voices. Wow. like a library? I don't know. You're correct. What the f- Oh, no, you was out of time. She can't hear. God, bitch. I don't give a damn if she can't hear. You can hear. What you talking about? Man, y'all be playing a different kind of game. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Young Jack, what kind of nail can replace itself each time it is removed? What kind of nail? Nail. Three. Fingernail. Two. Dominic, what kind of nail can replace itself each time it is removed? A hangnail? Three. Two. One. That, was a that is incorrect. The answer is a toenail. I ain't told. What's the difference from a toenail and a fingernail? You got to be specific. Is your toenail on your finger? Top. I'm still lost. Fingernail and toenails are two different nails. It don't matter. It's, it does it's matter. A, it's levels to these dogs. I know it. You're a Sharnika cousin. <laughs> okay, uh, Dominique. If you hold on to me for too long, you might just lose me forever. What am I? Ooh. Three. Hold on too long. I lose myself. Time? I don't know. All right, that's incorrect, Young Jack. If you hold on to me for too long, you might just lose me forever. What am I? Three. Two. Ice. (laughs) Oh, that makes sense. Well, that's incorrect, so I hope it doesn't make sense. The answer is your your breath. Okay. Oh. I, mean, I figured that because you'll die. I mean. Well, that why you say that? You, we, because we ice, because, because that answer is, is, see, what's happening is they're asking questions that have several <laughs> answers. And because she doesn't see the answer listed, she's not going to, she want, she will not warrant me, you know, and give me this win. Because I know you're that, hungry. She said, you said you're from Decatur. <laughs> And I know, you know, I know what's going on. I'm talking to HR after this thing. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, young Jack. What? I add five to get nine and get two. The answer is correct. So what am I? You add five mm-hmm. to get nine. Mm-hmm. To get two. Mm-hmm. Three. Two. Four. I don't know what the hell you talking about. What you saying? All right, Dominic, I add five to get nine and get two. The answer is correct, so what am I? A card. Add five to get nine. And you said and get two or two. add two. I missed that two for it. Um. <laughs> All right, the answer Damn. is. A clock when it is nine a.m. Adding five hours would make it two p.m. Dang, I, missed I knew y'all were so stupid. Y'all wasn't gonna get it. Stupid. 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 Okay, what artist appeared on Gucci Man's single "Wasted"? I love myself. Three, two, the one plus was that plus? You are correct. You are the winner, Dominic. 
You won a fifty dollar gas car, courtesy of Attorney Adana. Yeah. One time for the cheaters. <laughs> Two time for the cheaters. Nah, nah, hey, you, man. hey, look, we want to take the time to say thank you for playing. Are you smarter than young Jock? You will pick up this fifty dollar gas card courtesy of Attorney Adonna, my favorite personal injury attorney. Uh, you got any shout outs you want to give our baby girl? I just want to shout out all Atlanta, all Georgia. Everybody get money. It's Money Making Monday. I appreciate y'all this morning. Yeah, hold on, don't hang up. Don't cheat, man. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Call us now at 866. Yeah, Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. It's that time of morning. Good morning, Miss Shanika. Yep. Good morning, Shawty. Good morning, brethren. Brethren. Hey, man, we got to talk about this. All right, Warner Brothers has decided to do the unthinkable. Huh? After 20 years of television, they have canceled Judge Mathis and People's Court. Wow. That's a long run, though. It is. That's a great run. That's an awesome sure run. Is. You can't do nothing to shake on that. What do you do after that? After 20 years of being on TV, what do you do? You go somewhere and be rich. You, you walk Just through, enjoy it. You walk yeah. through the mall every day and see if people still remember you. <laughs> Get your flowers. <laughs> hey, man, If you, in case you haven't heard of Judge Mathis, you've lived under a rock for some time, or you just never been interested in watching television. I want you to take a listen. You object to the rumor or you object to being the crackhead? To being the crackhead. Thank you. Okay, I didn't uh, think you are now. You no. used to be, maybe? Never. Never. Maybe a little bit at a time? Never. Never. One rock. Never. Half. <laughs> tried it one time. Ah, I knew I had. <laughs> but I tried it. That's what we talk about. So. Yes. See, this is what happens when you try to go and do a a reality TV show about your family and stuff. They, Ooh, they didn't want to see it. You know, he yeah. has a reality show with his family now. I didn't know that. Yeah. He, he probably his knew. son, like, uh, put the show together. It got picked up for <laughs> one season. I mean, yeah. Ooh. I know he's behind another show. Is it crap? He's actually behind another show. You know, Beyond the Pole? Huh? The show that I... Is did we did? The son? No. Judge Mathis. Hey, Judge Mathis is not. Oh behind God! That show. I, was, I was I was sitting down having drinks and smoking cigars with him talking about it. He, it's it's not. I'm not telling nobody business. That's what it is. That's what he does. No, he judge, put his money behind shows. Yeah. Judge Mathis is the coolest judge. He the only judge I feel like I've never seen that show. He's so dope. That's so lame. I haven't. <laughs> it haven't came out yet. It's out. It's out. Maybe the only Second magic season. that he's had with shows is over. I don't know. <laughs> but at any rate, definitely keep it locked in right here. We have so much to talk about. Let's get into this blue face and what's really going on with Chris Sean and Lil Baby. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, there are some messages that are surfacing. And we got to get into this YSL affiliate, Woody, um, being an alleged snitch. And finally, Charleston White, of course. Shawty wants us to talk about this. Hmm? Uh huh. The incident that he had over the weekend where his show got canceled. Yeah. Find out what Charleston White had to say about that and more coming up in less than 10 minutes. Word on the streets going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. Yeah, it's a beautiful money making Monday. Good morning to y'all, good people. Miss Shanika, what it do? Okay, so let's get right into it. Blueface and little baby. Ah. Didn't see it coming. Ah. But hey, here we are. Apparently, uh, Blueface and Krishan were sitting down having conversations. And he said, I'm tired of these industry Negroes being all up in your face. I'm your man. It's your. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm crying when I'm outside. Uh, I think you'd be letting too many rats be in your face. Who that picture? On my Twitter. In your face. It was little baby, but what was it was like. Huh? It wasn't even like that. Oh, baby. We was talking about yeah. you, bird. You know, I was just saying how you look like. <laughs> I just like, what? You my manager. <laughs> oh, now I'm your manager. All right. Oh, no. What? What you want me to what, say? What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what? I got potential. Potential to what? Nah. I'm a goat for real. Why are you saying me like that? 
Yeah. Shy, everybody knows little baby do not want Krishan. Okay. Don't, but but I'm going to proceed. Man. But I'm going to proceed mm. with this, okay? Mm. All right. So, <clears throat> here. Mm. He <laughs> posted <laughs> little baby's messages oh. on Twitter, okay? Mm. So, the message says, it's baby. And then the second one says, why people saying I was in your DM? Why ain't you tell them? Why ain't you tell them I'm big brother? I hate stuff like that. So, Blueface then said, met my BR one time talking about he big brother. You yeah. ain't no son to me. Everything. The truth could never be this. Oh, <laughs> so, he big in his feelings. Then he went on to say, um, I be so mad. I'm bleeding anything come through my territory without huh? checking in. Yes, welcome to death row. Then Blueface went on and said, What? Met my B word one time, talking about, yeah, I'm yeah. big bro. So now he's sending threats. And why is this that? This one of the weekends so that makes the money. They're trying to throw solidified celebrities into their shenanigans. I'm sick of it. What are we doing here? And I'm sure um, mm. WAC 100 gave him the go ahead on that. Meanwhile, Charleston White is uh, drumming up his own beef with none other than Mr. Texas. Wow. The police, I'm starting to think they on the payroll of James Prince and Rapper La Rep. I think that's what's happening down there. They got a good mail. See, this is what happened when you when you vote in a black male. This what happened when you vote in a black scare ass male that's in the bed with James Prince. I think the mayor of Houston is in bed with rapper lot Record. And all the while, out wow. of all these stories, I think the worst story is Kendall Jenner dating Bad Bunny. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Why not? Somebody stop it. Why not? Because he is very quick to uh, say how people appropriate um, people's cultures and things of that nature. And I really think that they are a, a huge appropriator of the black culture. Anyway, that is the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. That's what it do, do. All right, <laughs> it's time for the Love Number Doc Jock. <laughs> you, did, you did. The Love Doc Jock is on the way. One eight six six Y U N G J O C. Call me up right now, man. Let me see if I can help you out and, and make things better. All right, keep it like Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me, help you, help okay. me. Come on, what's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You're on with the Love Doc Jock. How may I help you, baby? Look, I got my favorite daddy with me, man. And, you know, for some reason, every time we get to argue, this man's going to come out here and mouth, B-I, uh, you know, H-O. But I'm doing everything for us, though. And everybody like, you need to leave that man alone. If all he can do is call you those words. Well, I'm going to tell you something. you're doing everything to prove to him that you're not those words, why is he doing it? Should I leave him or should I put a tape over his mouth? Put some tape over his mouth. Listen, I'm going to be 100 with you. If it's to the point where it's abusive, because if he's saying it every time you look up, then... I'm, I, be, I become abusive, and I'm going to jail because every time he call me those words, I'm ready to attack because I demand my respect. But it's like, I'm in the wrong. But why am I wrong? Because I'm attacking. And I remember one segment y'all were talking about the women need to be so, accountable for hitting on these so men. So let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give you some advice, baby. It's like taking a shower and putting on the same clothes. You know, y'all have an argument, then y'all have a resolve, then you right back in the same toxic bath. You know what I'm saying? You got to remove yourself from that space. And the only way you could do that is to lay down some, some real boundaries. And it hurt so bad because you ain't doing I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just giving you an example. But this the it's, love dot job. Look here. Look here, man. Like I told you, set some boundaries. Let it be known you ain't you ain't with that no more. Dog, what about us? Dog, we need now you need to call in and I can use some advice too, pimp, because oh. I got some better words than bitch and hoe. He on the phone? Yeah, he right there listening. Bro. I tried to give him some real advice. I ain't tell him to leave him. I just told him to set the, set the baseline hey, for him. I didn't say that either, but what about what she's saying to me? A punk ass Ooh. all Ooh. this. Ooh. All out there in front of the neighbors all know they ass. Yeah, y'all need to split. Nah, y'all don't need to split. I think y'all the perfect nah, y'all couple. Y'all gotta work it out. Y'all, y'all the perfect work couple. Out y'all boundaries. Let me tell y'all the perfect couple because y'all out of y'all hurting through y'all emotions. Y'all both be trying to see who gonna have the heaviest blow, only to realize yes, at the end of the night when you having makeup sex, it wasn't none of it worth it. I think y'all like the y'all like the toxicity that y'all bring. I 
don't like it because I'm going to jail and we got keys. Because she called the folks on me, Jock. I don't tell her. Nah, he be calling the folks because I done put my hands on her. Because I don't want to put mine on her, Jock. Is you DMS or ODB? <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> I'm going to pray for y'all. We're going to pray. We're going to get Pastor Brady on the phone with y'all. Yeah. And uh, listen, man, this is the love. Dot jo- you need to call I'm in separate, bro, so counsel. I can help you out. We go- it's going to take a series of, uh, of these calls to help y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to lay hands on y'all and all that. you were going to say restraining orders. It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. So I'm spotlighting my friend Amber. Make Morale is her business. She's a licensed esthetician. You can find her on Instagram, M-I-N-K underscore M-O-R-A-L-E. She's over in Sandy Springs. Facials, lashes, and body scrubs. And I always listen to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. That's a rookie. Mistake Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Yes, this beautiful money making Monday has been a good one, man. Shouts out to the contestant that beat me at Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? She'll pick up her $50 gas card courtesy of Attorney Adonna. We definitely appreciate you, Attorney Adonna. You one of the realest to ever do it. And shouts out to my man, Doug the Plug, professionally known as Douglas Parson Jr. The new book, The Art of Flipping Bricks, is out now. You can catch it in Walmart on Amazon. And the audio book is also out now. You can get that on iTunes as well, man. We definitely appreciate you dropping game and spreading knowledge this morning, man. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. Well, it's about time for me to get up out of here. Had a wonderful weekend. Can't wait to come back. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Oh, also, let it be known, tomorrow it goes down at the world-famous Boogaloo with your favorite cousin, Young JLC, man. Y'all know what it is. Ladies, free. Everybody free, as a matter of fact. Free hookahs. Free valet parking. Pull up on your favorite cousin, and I'll show you what a good time looks like, all right? We'll see you when we see you on the next go-round. Young Jock in the Streets Morning. Take a-